Hey, my name's Dwayne. I'm here to talk about the other math. You know, we always do fractions and decimals and percents and all that sort of stuff. And every once in a while, we need to just take a moment and learn the other math. So today we're going to do NIM. So what is NIM? NIM is a mathematical game of strategy in which two players take turns going back and forth, back and forth, uh, removing objects from a, a heap, a clump. You got a bunch. And the idea is, hey, if you don't have objects, use paper, use pencil, uh, yeah, whatever. Make it up. You, could guys, you guys could figure it out. So the idea is each player goes back and forth and they take at least one object. And usually the game, let's just make it simple. The game is each player can take either one or two objects. All right. So they're taking one or two objects and you're going back and forth and whoever takes the last object wins. All right. That's NIM. So NIM, whoever takes the last object wins. And player A and B, they each take one or two, their choice. All right. So let's, let's do a quick game here. All right. So let's say, all right, here we go. We've got, now I'm starting with 13 because I could start with any number that I want. And so let's start with 13. All right. So we got 13. Um, why did I start with 13? Well, because 15 was too big and 10 was too small, so I started with 13. It could be any number. So anyway, you got that? Any number. It could be any number. Any number. It can be any number. All right, so the idea would be, let's start with 13, and let's say we're going to play with each player can take either one or two at a time. All right, so it's going to be player A's turn, and player A, uh, let's say player A takes two. Now the object is not to take the most. The object is to just be the guy that takes the last one. All right, but player A is going to take away two. Now it's player B's turn. Oh, let's say player B only takes away one. So now player A. Uh, so player A takes one. So now player B. Let's say player B takes two. And now let's see, we got uh, player A takes two. Now it's player B's turn. Oh, player B takes one. Now player A. Well, let's say player A takes one. And then player B takes two. And so player A, woohoo, because player A is taking that last one, player A is the winner. You get that? It ain't that hard. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. You want to play one quick last one? So let's do it again. All right, so here we go. We're going to play again. And I have no idea. I'm not using strategy at this point. So let's go. Okay, so player A. Player A is going to go. And let's say player A takes one. Now player B takes two. Now player A takes one, and player B takes two, and then player A gets bored, so player A takes two, and then player B, player B takes two, and now player A, ooh, player A kind of is in trouble already because player A takes one, and then player B takes two and wins again. So the idea is, what's the strategy? Who? How do you know if you should go first? Should you go second? How many should you take? So here's the game. Get your objects and play. Now, if you don't have, I'm looking for paper or pencil. Man, so if, if you don't have any objects, right? Here, just use a piece of paper. And then here you go. And for your piece of paper, Let's just mark a bunch of circles. So just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There you go. There's our, there's our, our NIM game. So player A and player B take turns going back and forth. So player A can cross off two, and then player B can cross off two, and then player A can cross off one, and player B can cross off two, and then player A can cross off one, and then player B can cross off two, and then player A can cross off 
one, <laughs> once again, man, I am not trying to do this, but player B wins because it takes the last two. So that's the idea. You don't need objects. You could use a piece of paper and a pencil, and that is how you play NIM. So get going.